Hi everyone and welcome to how to create a gold chain pattern brush with Adobe Illustrator. Now before we begin we'll need a sort of a reference image to use for the shape of our chain. Now you'll find the reference image that we're using for this tutorial in the link below. Once you've got your reference image go to file and place. Find where your reference image is located. Click on it and then we want to check template here and then click on the place button. Once you've done that, double click on the layer here and we want to change the dim images to, to around 50 to 70%. Once you've done that, click OK and we're just going to go ahead and unlock the layer here and we want to transform this. So let's rotate this by about nice degrees, like so. And we're just going to resize this slightly here as well. Cool. Once you're happy with the way your reference image looks, go ahead and relock the layer again. And in the layers panel here, we're going to increase the amount of layers here by another two layers. And we want to go ahead and change the names of these. So the first layer here is going to be called Highlight. The second one is going to be called Shadow. And then the last one here is going to be called Midtone. Once you've organized your layers like what we're showing here, the next thing we want to do is we're going to start creating the shapes of our chain. So let's go ahead and choose the colors for these. So let's choose our fill color to be EFD225, which is a yellow color. And then the outline color here is going to be 332E15, which is a deep brown color for our stroke. Now let's go ahead and trace our chain which is going to be split into two sections, the top and the bottom here. Now with a fill and stroke selected, we won't really be able to see what we're doing. So we need to switch to an outline view. So let's go to view and outline, which is control Y on the keyboard. And now we're going to use the pen tool here to trace over our shapes. So let's go ahead and trace the top shape of our chain like so and where it sort of overlaps here we can cut it off like that then just tracing over the inner part of the shape and where our two shapes overlap here on the left we want to sort of trace over that shape here like so and over here again we want to try and make sure that the two shapes overlap as close as possible. So let's try and trace over the two lines like so. Just trying to keep it as close as possible. Sometimes it helps to, to zoom in a little bit more. And then again, over on the right where it overlaps, we can cut this part off and then just continue with the outside of our chain shape, like so. Excellent. Now let's go out of outline view so we can see what our colors look like. So go to view and click on preview, which is control Y on the keyboard. And now you'll see that our colors have appeared again. So now using the selection tool, let's go ahead and select both of these shapes. And we're going to go ahead and duplicate them by pressing the Alt key on the keyboard, clicking and dragging, and then also holding the Shift key on the keyboard so that it stays in a straight line as we move it from left to right. So let's go ahead and move it to the right place here, like so where it looks correct. And over here where you can see the shape sort of overlapping, let's go ahead and select this bottom shape. And then from here, we're going to rearrange this 
by right clicking on your mouse, go to arrange and then send it to back like so. And now you'll see our chain link looks correct. Cool. Now from there, we want to separate our fill and our strokes. So let's go ahead and select all four sections of the chain, then go to object, expand, and select stroke like so, and then click OK. And now whilst all four objects are still selected, let's go to object and ungroup. And now we want to select the stroke layers or our stroke shapes here. So let's zoom in here and then just holding shift on the keyboard whilst we select our strokes carefully like so. We want to go ahead and separate them from our fill by pressing Control X on the keyboard to cut. Now we're going to go back to our layers panel here, create a new layer at the top and we want to rename this trapping like so. And with the new layer selected, press Control Shift V on the keyboard to paste it all in place like so. Now you'll see that we've got these overlapping lines here. So the way that we can get rid of them is to use the knife tool. Just go over to the eraser tool on the left here, click and hold the left mouse button and then select the knife tool. Now we're just going to zoom in to our shape here. And then using the knife tool, just simply click and hold to remove a section of our brown line like so. So just click and hold like so, just to remove this section where it interconnects and then simply select the brown line that we want to remove with the white selection tool, the direct selection tool here, and then press delete on the keyboard to remove it. Excellent. Now we're going to do the same with our next overlapping line here. So select the knife tool again, and then just carefully zooming in to our line. So select it first, use the knife tool, click and drag. Make sure you're clicking outside from outside the line here. So click and drag like so. Sometimes it takes a couple of clicks to get a line that you want. Then moving on to the next intersection here, click and drag. And then same thing again, using the direct selection tool, click on the unwanted shape and then press delete to remove it. Make sure that you've selected the shape like so, and then delete. Excellent. Now we've got our outlines and our colors, our fill color separated. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to start adding some details to our chain. Now with the trapping layer still selected, let's go to the pen tool here. And we're just going to add some small little details here, just drawing along our chain here like so. And just extending this just a little bit. And then the same down here, let's add a little bit of sharp shadowing. It's just using the pen tool to create some shapes like this. Just following along with the rest of our outline. Just trying not to go outside our outline and then using the direct selection tool to sort of modify it like so. Cool. And once you're happy with some of these details, the next thing that we want to do is we want to add some highlights and shadows. So let's go ahead and go to the highlight section of our layer. 
and we're going to change our fill color here to F D E D five five, which is a bright yellow color. And we're just going to go ahead and use the pen tool again, just to create some highlight shapes like so. Again, trying not to go over our outline and using the direct selection tool to adjust the shape and then some more highlights at the bottom here as well. So it's just a little subtle one here, just following our detail shape. Excellent. And then once you've done that, let's go ahead and go over to our shadows section here. And now we're going to change the color to B09132. And make sure shadows layers is selected. And using the pen tool again, just doing sort of the same thing, just creating some nice bold shadows where the two chains interlink. So there's one here, and then let's create another one over here, like so. Excellent. Now that we've got all of our details in our chain, let's go ahead and delete the left and right sections of the chain here, which is sort of our placeholder shapes. Select the whole chain, and we're going to press Alt on the keyboard, click and drag to duplicate it, and then holding Shift on the keyboard as well to make sure that it's moving in a straight line. Just moving it to the right, like so. And then we're going to go to Object, Transform, Transform again another two times, transform, transform again, which now creates four chain links ready for us to create a chain link brush. Now we're going to create some guidelines where the chain brush will repeat. So to do this, we need to go over to view and select rulers and show rulers. And we're just going to click and drag along the from the left of the screen to where we believe the chain will sort of repeat itself. So for me, I'm just going to zoom in here a little bit. I'm going to drag the ruler where we see the detail of our chain, just sort of creating this sharp corner here. So this is where I want the chain to repeat. So let's click and drag from the ruler over to just where the detail is touching, like so. And then we're going to do exactly the same on our fourth link here. So let's go ahead and zoom in where this detail is. Click and drag from the left to approximately the same spot, like so. Excellent. Now that we've got our guidelines, let's go ahead and create our clipping mask. So to do this, let's go ahead and create a green box. So let's choose a bright green color like so. Use the rectangle tool and we want to use the rectangle tool to cover our brush like so using the guidelines to determine the left and right side of the box. And then press Control A on the keyboard to select all, or go to select and all. And then once everything has been selected, we want to go to object and clipping mask and make. Excellent. Now we want to go over to our Pathfinder panel and then select divide to separate all of our shapes like so. 
And now from here, we want to go over to the brush panel. So if you can't find it, go to Windows and then select Brushes. And over in our brush panel here, we want to select everything, click and drag it all the way into our brush panel like so. And then we want to go ahead and select Pattern Brush and click OK. And then over here, we can rename our brush Chain Brush. And then just go ahead and make sure that we've got the correct corners here as well. So if we go over to the third selection, the inner corner tile, and select down here, we can select Auto Sliced. So now that fills it up. And then the next thing we want to do from here is just make sure it's stretched to fit and method none, select OK. And now over here, you can see we've got the chain brush successfully added to our brushes in the brushes panel. So let's go ahead and create a new layer so that we can test it out, hide all of our other layers like so. And then using the pen tool, let's select no fill. I'm just going to create a line here like so. And then with that line selected, go over to our brushes, select the chain brush, and there you'll see we have successfully created a chain brush which is fully customizable so we can adjust the stroke size like so. And then we can do the same again. So again, just making sure that we've got no colors for our stroke. And there you have it. You've successfully created a gold chain vector brush in Adobe Illustrator. I hope you had fun with this project and I'll see you next time on Tuts Plus.